Don't look at me like that. Uh, it's just my <laughs> face. You were looking at me because you know I fluffed up. You did fluff up. <laughs> We are really excited to be joining other Caravanners and Motorhome channels on YouTube um, in a collaboration video, um, which will be monthly. And this particular topic is why did you choose the motorhome model that we uh, that we have? Um, for us, we have the Swift 674, uh, Swift Escape 674. Uh, Jen, why did you choose this model? Well, there's a story. I didn't, did no. I? No? No. One day I came to the kitchen and just heard you paying for a deposit. Right. And the question was, did you just buy a motorhome? And the answer was? Uh, the answer was yes. Yes, I yeah. had. Yeah. 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 So, no, I didn't have much involvement at all. Okay. So we, um, we bought this motorhome in February uh, 2021. Um, during lockdown, I had been researching... Um, lots of motorhomes and we actually rented a motorhome yeah um for a week it was a, it was a week it might have been five days either way it was atrocious i didn't get any sleep i hated it because well the bed was short and stumpy and it, it backed onto the toilet door so every time the kids got up in the night which seemed to be every two minutes they would open the door and bang my feet um it, it wasn't the van for us it was very uncomfortable also i only had half a bed because it kind of curved around and so i ended up kind of having to sleep in a fetal position uh yeah it wasn't wasn't cozy yeah so the motorhome that we um we hired had a fixed bed in the corner um and next to it was a was the bathroom mm. um so it did have a double bed but as jen just described it kind of swept away um so that you could walk through to the bathroom but um, it was more made than it really that, short on one end because there wasn't anywhere for us to go in the evening so if the kids fell asleep which you'd hope they would at their age um we ended up having our dinner on the bed because uh, yeah. it was because it was autumn um so it and then trying to watch tv with like minimal volume uh and sort of bunched together on on the bed it was just yeah yeah, I think the most difficult thing actually was was what Jen, Jen just described about eating dinner, um, because um, so there was a pull down bed at the f oh no there wasn't there was no pull down bed so it was just a double bed at the front uh, that you converted the dinette and the kids were top and tailing, so they also were kind of fidgeting and disrupting each other during the night, um, and then um, so we set settle them down then you've got this kitchen in the middle where we would make dinner, and then we'd have to kind of balance and hold plates um, across to each other as we were sitting on the bed trying to eat. So it was a nightmare. So actually one I'm of the- I'm surprised we bought a motorhome at all. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a good experience. And actually that's probably why you bought one without my authority. You did not have capital expenditure authority, uh, authorization even. I was not there yet because I hated it. Yeah. Um, so um, what we tried to do, well, I mean, I think, that, I think that that was a really good experience because we learned what we really, really Excuse. didn't Excuse me. Sorry. Bless you. Thanks. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was a really good experience because we learned everything that we needed through everything that we didn't have in this first And everything that we hated. Home. Yeah. Because uh, ultimately, from experience of holidays with Jen, Paul knows that if I'm not cosy and comfy, it's not happening. Um, yeah. And so he did a lot of research into yeah. this van yeah so um watching lots of videos um and kind of observing people's setups and also looking at lots of different um websites and the different models that they had uh the the type of model that we ended up going for i think really works for us yeah yeah no, i can't think of anything i would change except the wardrobe door opening from the other side that annoys me a bit um, so our the model for uh, the 674 basically during the day it has no beds so there's a rear shaped a rear u-shaped lounge um, at the front there's a dinette area and then at, uh, at bedtime you have to convert all the beds so there's a pull down bed from the ceiling that James sleeps on then there's a small double underneath it 
that you convert the dinette into that is Ella's bed that kind of works as a bunk bed system um, but also what I like about it is James's pull down bed he will still be able to use when he's a, an adult yes. it's not uncomfortable it is it's quite cosy up there mm -hmm. um, something to add is that a, a lot of people will be put off by having to make the beds sort of thing it's not arduous it's not particularly difficult I, if I can do it yeah there is actually um, if you have a look um, uh, through our channels I'll try and put a, uh, a link up as well but there is a there is a video of me converting all the beds and it does take 10 minutes yeah um, but um, but the benefit during the day is that you've got a huge amount of space yeah you've got space for Jen and I to sit at the back of the van the kids to sit up front and play if it's a wet day and you can't get out yeah um, or if you've got guests um, the rear shape la rear u-shaped lounge has got lots of space to sit at which which is great we've had <clears> 10 <throat> people yeah in our van on a rainy rainy day before playing poker yeah that's true um, insight into our lives <laughs> and we've just um, we just got back from 10 days in France um, the video for which will probably come in the next month or so uh, when, I, when uh, I get time uh. to do some editing but yeah, we have just spent 10 days in France um, sleeping in the van um, and traveling in it and I don't think that we we've not come across we've not kind of come across any problems the wardrobe door opens from the wrong direction <laughs> the wardrobe door so basically if the do if the bed is made and you're in bed and you're standing facing the bed the wall you can't get in the wardrobe and that's a bit fiddly uh, and it's my complaint because Paul sleeps on that side of the bed and I normally get up first and so I end up having to kind of half climb on him half bend around the corner to get in the wardrobe yeah but that's the only thing, <laughs> that's the only thing. Um, so yeah we're really pleased with our storage wise uh, our is decision. really good yeah it's got lots of, lots of storage, lots of covered space, yeah. um, and um, it's got a garage where you can where we store all of our outdoor chairs and and, and things. Um, good sized gas locker, so you could put you know we had, we've got Gaslow um, in there. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, it's a good setup. You got distracted by someone walking past. I thought it was Ella. No, but I was you know, concerned. You that... know that the video is watching you, right? Yeah, I know, so, but I was con yeah. <laughs> when you potentially see your child walking out of <laughs> out of the property, it's a woman. She's a very young-looking woman. Good. She looks about seven, <laughs> approximately. So yeah, the Swift Six Seven Four, uh, Swift Escape Six Seven Four works really well for us. Uh, we love it. We've had it for a little bit over a year now. We've done about seven thousand miles uh, traveling around the UK, and we've done two trips in France. No, we haven't. What? We've done three trips in France. France. We've done three trips in France, <laughs> uh, and actually this summer, um, Jen and the kids are going to be away for it for um, about three, just over three weeks. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a it's been a great hit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you check out the other collaborators um, for this topic. Uh, the links will be in the comments below. Um, there's some really great channels uh, in there anyway, so maybe subscribe to them. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, lots of videos to come of our trip uh, to the Loire in France and Normandy in France. God, I haven't um, done Loire yet. No, I haven't Get edited it, uh, It's almost Loire. like you have a job. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and some other um, DIY uh, videos as well, uh, like... Uh, installing solar and um, I'm currently thinking of another upgrade which uh, might be happening in the next few weeks so please hit subscribe and like but make sure you check out the other channels because uh, there's lots to see and learn from them too. Bye!